Here tonight to some hopeful news when it comes to the price of paradise in Tampa Bay. A new report shows Florida's housing market may finally be settling down. This after a tumultuous year that saw home values jump between 40 and 50% in the Tampa area. Tonight, reporter Eric Waxler looks at where things stand now and where things could be headed next. Dodie Dijute has his home in Trinity all ready to go on the market. And despite reports home values may have plateaued or even started to drop after record growth, he says it's still a great time to sell. Might not be the abundance of buyers that we had in the past where you have 10 offers in one day, but we still believe that you can have multiple offers um, for multiple buyers uh, because the inventory is still low, and especially out here in Pasco County. Jody's realtor, Annie Rock, says the interest rate hike is one reason home sales are slowing down, but she says the supply shortage should prevent any kind of crash. Builders can't build them fast enough. That's going to help keep our market solid because we still have so many people moving here. We have such a high demand, and we still don't have enough houses. It's very much shifting. Gilbert Bennett is a mortgage loan originator and says his clients are having an easier time finding homes in recent weeks. And despite higher rates, he says it's still a good time to buy. Anytime you buy a home, the time, in my opinion, is now because you miss out on equity, you miss out on growth, you miss out on your return investment when you wait. In the last year, some home prices in Pasco County have gone up as much as 50 percent, and Jody is ready to cash in. Some of the houses in here, uh, what they've gone for, and uh, it, it's been amazing for sellers and buyers because people bought in and they still went past the mark where they bought, so they're still going to have a lot of equity in their home and continue to, I'm sure, into the future. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. All right, so here's the bottom line on this. The price point, as we call it, home values in the Tampa Bay area finally are slowing down. That's according to a Zillow report. The average price of a home in Tampa last month, $391,000. However, prices were still 26.4% uh, higher year over year in Tampa. On the other hand, 37% of homes in the Tampa market saw price cuts. So there's good and there's bad. And meanwhile, more builders say they actually reduced home prices this very month. And you've got some more options out there with more construction finally starting back up. But the reality still for a lot of people remains that with the cost of building supplies going up along with the higher mortgage rates because of increased interest rates, buying a home is still out of reach for a lot of folks.